Have you heard of BPC-157? In this video, I'm going to discuss this popular peptide, what it is and its potential role in boosting the healing of tendon and ligament injuries so that you get back to sports and exercise quickly and safely. My name is Dr. David Geyer, double board certified orthopedic surgeon, sports medicine specialist, and media medical expert. I help you feel and perform your best regardless of age, injury, or medical history. Now, please understand in this video, I'm not giving you medical advice. This information is just that. It's meant for general information and educational purposes only. In the United States, there are about 33 million musculoskeletal injuries reported every year, seen by doctors in clinics and hospitals, 33 million a year. And half of those injuries are ligament and tendon injuries like ankle sprains, MCL and ACL injuries of the knee, Achilles tendon injuries, patellar or quad tendon injuries, rotator cuff tendon injuries, and many, many more. And it's thought that there are about 300,000 tendon and ligament repair surgeries performed in the U.S. each year. Could peptides help some of those injuries heal without surgery or speed their healing? Well, what are peptides? Peptides are short chains of amino acids, or small proteins, so to speak, found naturally in our bodies. The one most people have heard of is insulin. Insulin is something our body makes naturally to handle the glucose that comes in with our food. We make peptides naturally in our bodies. In fact, over 7,000 naturally occurring peptides have been identified. Peptides are involved in almost every bodily action. They're signaling molecules or communication signals. They're master controllers of functions throughout the body, like hormone production, cell signaling, and cell-to-cell -cell communication. Each one has a specific role. The peptide binds to the receptor of a particular cell, causes a chemical reaction, and then goes away. Peptides have a very short half-life, so they're thought to be very safe. That's one of the key differences between peptides and hormones like steroids, which stay around in your body a long time and cause all kinds of effects, both good and bad. We naturally have high levels of these peptides as kids and as young adults, but our levels decline with age. That's believed to be one of the reasons so many tendon injuries occur more often in people in their 40s and 50s than in te teenagers and young adults. Now understand, many of these peptides are still considered experimental. The FDA is currently looking into the pharmacological assessment of peptides. As of about 2018, there were about 60 peptide drugs that had been approved by the FDA. There's about 150 in development and several hundred have gone through clinical trials. More and more of these will come out as pharmaceutical drug by the big drug companies in the coming year. So what is BPC-157? Well, BPC stands for Body Protective Compound. It's a synthetic 15 amino acid peptide coming from our human gastric juice, our stomachs. BPC-157 has gotten a lot of attention for a potential treatment for a number of medical conditions, most notably inflammatory bowel syndrome and healing of stomach ulcers. But research has shown benefits for musculoskeletal injuries, such as injuries of tendons and ligaments, but also muscle injuries, nerves, bone fractures, tendinopathies like tennis elbow or Achilles tendinopathy. Some say that BPC enhances the nitric oxide pathway, which is a vasodilator, so more oxygen is delivered to the muscles, you get better oxygen exchange in the lungs, and maybe it improves your endurance. It might also decrease pain in damaged tissues, making it a possible alternative to opioids. But let's focus on tendon and ligament injuries here. Many tendons and ligaments in the human body heal slowly, or they don't heal at all, and they're often prone to re-tearing if they do heal. Tendons and ligaments are largely hypocellular, hypovascular, and hyponeural tissues. In other words, healing of these structures can be difficult due to a lack of blood supply in the damaged tissue, lack of healing inflammatory cells, and lack of nerve supply. In one study of BPC-157, researchers cut the Achilles tendons of rats. Compared to the severely compromised healing in the observed control rats, BPC-157 significantly improved recovery measures. The Achilles tendon showed increased load to tendon failure and significantly higher functionality. Microscopically, the tendons had a greater mononuclear count, less granulocytes, an increase in fibroblasts and superior formation of the reticulin and collagen fibers. On a macroscopic level, defects in the healing Achilles tendons treated with BPC were smaller in size and depth. Full tendon integrity was reestablished more quickly and completely. In another study published in the Journal of Orthopedic Research, scientists looked at the effect of healing of BPC used 
for rats in which the MCLs, the medial collateral ligaments of the knees of those rats were surgically cut. All BPC-157 regimens, including oral BPC and topical BPC cream, demonstrated consistent and extensive improvement for MCL ligament injuries. The researchers found improved function, improved biomechanical strength of the ligament, and improved microscopic and macroscopic structure of the ligament. The healing connective tissue organized faster and with better organization. The collagen fibers were longitudinally oriented much better. So how does BPC-157 work? Well, another way to look at this and that study I just talked about is to consider the game pickup sticks. Remember that game as a kid? When muscle or tendons or ligaments are injured, the body starts an inflammatory process to repair them. The collagen fibers aren't aligned in a linear or orderly fashion. They're all over the place, like the sticks in the pickup sticks game when you drop them on the floor. These studies suggest BPC-157 helps collagen formation and tendon and ligaments heal in an optimal formation and alignment to quickly strengthen the tissue. Again, most of the studies showing the benefits of BPC-157 for tendon and ligament injuries were performed on animals. We need more human studies and preferably double-blind, placebo-controlled, randomized control studies on humans. But these animal studies at least suggest this peptide might help many tendon and ligament injuries in humans heal. BPC might boost healing and improve pain, function, athletic performance for injuries like ankle sprains, MCL and ACL injuries of the knee, Achilles tendon injuries, Achilles tendonitis, tendon elbow, patellar tendon injuries, quad tendon injuries, rotator cuff tears, and many, many more. BPC is one of the few peptides that works as well as an oral pill as it does as an injection done under the skin. In fact, the rat study looking at MCL healing, it worked as well as a topical cream. And you take typically BPC once a day for three months with a one month break, but some people say you could take it continuously. And again, BPC is thought to be very safe. In fact, there's no reported side effects like most peptides and there's no lethal dose, that, dose that's been found. It's one of the few peptides, again, that works as well as an oral pill compared to an injection. Now, please, again, understand I'm not giving you medical advice. It's meant for general information and educational purposes only. Another important point to recognize that as of January 1st, 2022, BPC-157 is banned by the World Anti-Doping Agency. That might not matter if you're a recreational athlete, weekend warrior, or just a physically active person, but if you compete in a sport with drug testing, it's important to know you could test positive and be sanctioned if they screen for BPC. Therapeutically, BPC-157 is not currently approved by the FDA for use as a human drug. BPC-157 is legal for use in the US, that might be different in other places, but it's only available by a prescription. You have to have a prescription from a doctor for BPC-157, and you usually get them from your doctor at their practice. If you buy them online, unless it's a physician that performs telemedicine visits, the peptides for most of these online sites often contain little or no peptides, but they have potentially a lot of harmful fillers. If you'd like to read the studies I mentioned in this video, I've provided links in the description below. If you like videos like this one, with information about optimal health and wellness and healing and recovery from orthopedic injuries so you can feel and perform your best regardless of age, injury, or medical history, subscribe to this channel, click the bell to be notified of new videos and live streams when I'm online. And if you do have a tendon or ligament injury and you wanna see someone who truly knows about bone and joint injuries in athletes and active people, I'd be happy to help. I'm a double board certified orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine specialist. I'd love to talk to you about all your options to recover from injury, not just surgery, cortisone shots, and physical therapy. Go to my website, drdavidgeyer.com, and go to the contact page to make an appointment to see me. The link to my website and the contact information is in the description below this video. I'm Dr. David Geyer. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to helping you feel and perform better than ever.